hey guys happy new week welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing great today i'm going to show you how to design a 3d logo on your android smartphone in this video you will learn exactly how to present your logo in 3d format using pixel lab and photo p if you want to learn a new skill in graphics keep on watching my channel for amazing video like this please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Take up graphic skills with creativity. So as you can see, this is our uh, Photopea interface. So the I will show you exactly as I saw that you can mock up that logo. Click on the file and click open. Click on download, then locate where you save your mockup. Make sure my own is being saved on your my drive. Make sure you extract the mockup before you can even thought of using it. So now select the mockup. This whenever you are working with a wood mockup, it takes a longer time before it will load. So you have to be extraordinarily patient when you when you are using this mockup. You have to be patient. So when the mockup is loading, it will take a little while, as I said, because of the uh, because of how the mockup was made. So you have to be patient whenever you are working with this mockup. Now, if you could check the uh, uh, the video I post before the last one I post, I presented a wood mockup uh, or another style. This one I'm bringing to you another different style to show you that you can actually edit all this kind of mockup on your smartphone. Even if you have two gig RAM, starting from two gig RAM upward, as long as you have more than two gig free memory on your phone, you can actually use it. Get a pack of mockup and explore with it. Use it to present your design in any format that you want. But the step is very simple. Make sure you extract those mock-up on your phone. Now you see it is being done. Now click on the layer. Layer at the top. Then go to go to smart object. Click on it. Then click open. You see it has opened. Now scroll down and hide the high icon beside it to hide the design on top of it before. Now click on file. Click on open and place. Click on download. Now look at where your design is. Look at where your design is and, um, and import it. Import it. Then you have to wait for it to be imported. So one is important then you see the handle icon that surround it. Just hold one and stretch it exactly the way I'm doing it. Stretch it and position it well. So after that, position it well. Don't let anyone go beyond the layer. So after that, position it well. Okay, fine. Good. Okay. Good. Now click on open, I mean file, then click on save with smart object. So now you have to wait for the mockup to be transformed. So as I was saying before, Whenever you are dealing with this uh, photo P, it's very simple. Just know one thing, I have what we call the Z archiver. Even if you don't have the uh, the app on your phone that you can use without the data, you can actually use their website, but that one involves data, but there is, there, there is app. 
or, or for to be app that is not using data. So in such a situation, you must have the uh, 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 have what we call the Z archiver. Then you use your Z archiver to extract your PSD file. When your document is in mockup, doesn't mean that I mean your, your file is in mockup. It doesn't mean that you have the PSD file. It must be in PSD file. That is what the Photopi or the Photoshop can read, and that is what can transform. There are some people that don't know the difference between these. Just feel free to DM. My number will be at the description of this video, and feel free to download this mockup at the descriptions of this video so another thing i want you to learn in this uh, tutorial is how you can retain your color yeah because at the end of the day the everything will show shown in form of a uh, wood so how will you um or, or, or review your color that you apply to this design so that's that is part of the knowledge i'm going to uh, or share with uh, you on one way or the other so and uh, there are some other that things that I want you to see learn here. How you can open your layer and how you can edit and uh, uh, do many things there. How you can edit your own taste. Because at times there are some people that they really know how to just transform the logo. When the logo is being transformed, they will just save. They don't know that if the shadow is too much, they can reduce. If the color is too much, they can reduce. They don't know that they can really even maintain their own color, retain their own color that was original even used when they are designed this so just feel free whenever you are having any issue with this photo pic i will what i will try at least to uh, guide you on how you will go about it so we are still waiting for the markup to transform it will soon transform and when it's transformed we are going to uh, i'm going to show you how you can edit it how you can edit it in a simple way so let me waiting I'm still waiting. We are still waiting. Everything cannot take you, even everything where you are mocking it up. This wood mocker cannot take you 10 minutes. Now you see the result is shown. But look at how it was shown. So fear not. Now I will show you. I will open the layer. Just scroll down. You see where the layer is. Open them one after the other. I will first of all open where the effect is. Then hide the first one. Hide the eye icon at the first one. The first one you see. Then let's look at it you can see that the color has been retained because it brought back the original color that was given you see very simple so let's look at it whether we can still edit other things there so you see the you see the black shadow that was given to it but do i want it if i don't want it i will hide it then when you look at it everything will be plain but i want a black shadow to be cover some parts there so that it will look my logo will be able to be very obvious at the middle that's why i don't want it to be changed so you see the way i'm playing with it one after the other you can be playing with it when you click anything you look at the results whether it has any effect on your design if it doesn't have any effect you can what you can switch it back it might be an effect that is not really obvious but don't spoil anything there just move it back so I'm trying at least to play along with others to see whether I can make it to be more realistic. So can you see? You see? 
so it's very simple so, so now click on file and click on export export as png we're almost done then you wait for the results so now click okay that's all that is that about